name is Richika Goel and I work with uh, CBI India as a consultant. I have about six years of experience uh, and I've worked on uh, Spring, Hibernate and lately I've worked on uh, Seam application framework. Sunil, how about you? Yeah. Hi, this is Sunil. I've been working with uh, CBI for the past two years and uh, I have worked on technologies like Spring, Hibernate, Wicket, Grails. Of late I have started working uh, on Seam framework as well. Um, ZBI Tech Rally is a concept um, that uh, in where like all the technical people they come together and uh, like a couple of people who are experts in that particular technology they give a hands-on training to all everybody so that everyone in the company is up to date with with the new and upcoming technologies. Is a web application framework. Uh, the really one thing that keeps seen apart from other web application framework is seem manage the state for, our, for us. So we don't have to keep track of state uh, as a developer. And um, it basically uh, clubs to J2E specifications, JSF and EJP3, and can easily build our web applications. State management is um, the basis for all web applications. Like if you consider, like, let's say, shopping cart, if there is no state management, then it would be impossible for a web uh, application to remember what all, uh, say, items a person has put into the basket. So um, that uh, that is like if you want to have web applications, then it is very important to manage the state. But uh, in um, in present day applications, you have to put everything in session. But in Seam, you can manage a shopping cart in a conversation. And you can have uh, multiple concurrent shopping carts to see uh, if you want to add different things to the cart. Then you can look at the values for um, those things in different instances of the same shopping cart. One drawback of SIM could be the learning curve. So SIM clubs together many frameworks. So the learning curve is very uh, high. Also, uh, one needs to use uh, SIM in a very proper way, right? You need to choose, Seam is designed for stable web applications. Uh, if you, if, your web uh, if in your web application, uh, state management is not of a high priority, then do not go for Seam. So basically it will hamper the performance of the web application. Seam can be uh, used with any application server, uh, we uh, WebSphere, WebLogic, uh, Glassfish, any web, uh, uh, or Tomcat. So basically, Seam is uh, can be used with any uh, application server. It's it's a big misconception that it can only be used with uh, JBoss server. Uh, I faced a lot of problems um, building my first Seam web application. Uh, basically, I, I was not knowing um, JSF as well as EJP3, so I had to like um, uh, like there were lot of problems um, even in implementing a simple crack because uh, one need to know uh, the intricacies uh, in JSF and how it sends data to the backend so I faced a lot of problems so after a lot of learning now it has become easy. Uh, most of the people were pretty excited about learning SIEM um, but uh, the thing is that SIEM has a huge learning curve so they are a little apprehensive about, uh, you know, because it just, the, the tech really gives them an idea and gives them uh, uh, on hand uh, training. But uh, eventually, uh, when you actually start to work on a project, then you s get to see the real picture. So um, they, they really enjoyed learning a new technology, but they are also apprehensive about the learning curve that seem uh, possessed.